stress, part of being an MC is being able to reach the masses with your sound and your words. Right. How do you reach the masses? And tell me how an MC reached you and tightened up your pin game as you produced and were more proactive in your creativity. Um, <clears throat> I mean, reaching the masses is, um, to me, um, more about being true to who you are because people can relate a lot to truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. People gonna people as far as like as far as being an MC, people relate more, I think, to the truth in your words than um, just whatever filler may be there. So um, that's how I would relate. You know, it's got to be the truth, whatever I'm feeling. Like I said, whatever I'm feeling. So if I feel like. I'm the best I'm going to say. If I feel like, you know, there's nobody out there better than me, I'm going to say that. If I feel like, um, you know, I'm probably gonna punch this guy in the face, I'm gonna say that too, you know? It is what it is. And I think people kinda can take that and say, you know, this guy might punch this dude in the face. I don't know. <laughs> but then I gotta take that from somebody who you know, it's a feeling that goes along with it, but I think, like I said, it's the truth in your words, man. Um, I don't know, but um, what's the second part of that question? What this MC way? touched you that way uh -huh. and influenced you to tighten up your pen game as you produced that film? Um, I mean, from from the beginning, it was probably Redman. Redman is one of my favorite MCs. Okay. Um, Redman is one of my favorite MCs, and was one of my favorite MCs when I first heard him. At first it was Rakim, and first I just wanted to be like Rakim. Like, that's who I wanted to be. Because I just thought he was just real, like, I don't know, he just had this aura around him, and I was just like, I want that commanding aura, right? And I used to really want to be an MC from that perspective of, of kind of sharing knowledge, and then I actually got in a cypher with Redman once. And I was like, I never saw anybody command a cypher like that ever in my life. And I was like, you know what? If I can kind of be like him and him, I'd be great. You know what I mean? And I would say those two probably did it for me. Just on that level. Especially Red though, because I got to see Red and I got to actually rap in a cypher with Redman. And I was just like, you know, as a kid, I'm saying kid, like 14, 15, it was like the greatest shit on earth to me. You know what I mean? Right, so, yeah. Real, real.